Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to add an element to the end of a story. Now, I'm going to use grep to do this, because if you know me, you know how much I love grep. But also, if you need to do this a lot, like if you want to put a little bug element at the end of all your magazine articles, it really speeds up the process. And don't get too worried or hung up about using grep, because you can just copy the expression from what I put here. I'll even put it in the description down below. To start with, we just need to have an element that we want to place. And in this case, I've just used the fast forward symbol that I found in the Webdings font. You can use type or even a place image or vector artwork, because when we're done, the symbol is going to be an anchored object. And because it's going to end up in type in my story, I like to size it down first, so I'm not trying to make adjustments to the anchored frame. So I've styled it, I've given it a color, and once you've done all that, you need to go ahead and copy it to the clipboard. So I'm going to select the item, Command or Control C to copy it to my clipboard, and I can also delete it if I want. I'll leave it there for now. Then we need to open up the Find Change dialog box, Command or Control F, and then I want to go over to the Grep tab, which is the second tab here. And in the Find What field, we need to put in the grep expression. And again, don't worry too much about what the expression means. If you want to learn a little bit more about grep, we have several resources over at InDesignSecrets.com. But for now, just follow along with what I put in here. So in Find What, what I need to tell it is to find the last character at the end of a story. For any character, I use a wildcard, which in grep is just a period. Then I also need to tell it at the end of a story. And the grep expression for that is backslash, capital Z. So that's going to find the last character at the end of a story. In the change to field, I need to go ahead and tell it to replace it with itself. So I need to find the last character, and I also want it to replace it with the last character, and then we'll add in what we just copied. So let's replace it with itself. The grep expression for that is dollar sign zero. And then I also want to put the clipboard contents in here. So how do I do that? Well, I come over here to this little menu. I like to call this the secret menu. So if I come down and choose from at the bottom here, Other, Clipboard Contents, Formatted. Now I could select a frame and search simply on that particular story, but in this case I'm going to do it for the whole document. So I'll just go ahead and tell it to change all, and it says four replacements were made. Well that's because I had the second page here, I have two stories here, it did also replace it at the end of the story where the original element was. That's one of the reasons I like to delete it and I went ahead and put it in our first story as well. Now before I copied this to my clipboard, I made sure that I had a paragraph style applied. That way I can make easy changes, like say to the color. So if I edit my bug style, change the color to green, I can see that everywhere I used that bug, it went ahead and updated that. But I also built the paragraph style into an object style. I have this object style called end bug, and my original item had that object style applied to it. And inside that object style, I set the anchored object options. And so I can change those from here as well. Maybe I want to change the offset a little bit. Now, of course, the element won't automatically appear when you create a story. You will have to run Find Change every time you want to add this to the end of a story. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. For thousands more articles and tutorials, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, you can sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.